Dr. Patel, um, you're a general dentist, but I think your office also does orthodontic uh, work, uh, braces. Uh, is that true? Yes, we have an orthodontist in the practice, uh, Dr. Wins Cullen, uh, who is a great uh, orthodontist, and he does most of our orthodontic work. Uh, tell us, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a bunch of different types of braces out there, at least they have different names. Uh, uh, go and shade some light on what, they, what, you know, what the difference is and what they are for and is, uh, that type of stuff. Well, uh, braces uh, could be made out of metal, braces could be made out, uh, out of uh, plastic for good looks and all that. And uh, nowadays the braces, uh, which is uh, computerized, which is uh, braces less braces, which is called Invisalign, which is uh, a new way of getting your braces and having your teeth straightened. That is uh, one way of doing it. So metal braces have been used. There are different techniques of using on putting braces. I would bring an orthodontist for those techniques, but uh, there could be a removable way of doing braces too. A removable way is for simple tooth movement. When you want to lose or move too many teeth, when you have to put the teeth back, you have to apply more force to bring the teeth back than to apply the, the to apply it to move the teeth in front. So there are different types depending on what type of uh, technique uh, the orthodontist is using it. But mostly for the front teeth, we use what is called ceramic braces which is cosmetically, does not look all that black in the, in the patient's mouth and they prefer to use those type of braces mm -hmm. uh, before it was all metal braces. Are those the ceramic bra braces, uh, are, th are those the braces which go by the name of clear braces? Would that be kind of the same? Yes, clear braces, you can use that. Okay, now tell, tell me the difference between um, um, uh, well, well, first of all, is one brace better than the other one or not really? Uh, it, it, not really. The braces, it depends on the movement of the teeth. There are different techniques. Uh, nowadays, there are much more advanced techniques that have come up in the market. Uh, there is a denim system of braces. I do not know much technical on that. There is uh, uh, the old way of edge wear technique of braces, of moving the teeth. That was the old way and we are still using that technique just like the silver filling which has been there for a long, long, long time. Just the same way that dentures have been there for a long, long, long time. The same way these techniques of braces has been there. It is just the movement of the teeth. Some of them are moving it faster and some with the clear braces, some with the computerized way of, of moving the teeth. So there are different techniques have come up in the braces. Well, so let me ask you, those Invisalign braces, um, are they really invisible? They are very invisible, they are very, very, it's, it's, a, it's a thick plastic, it's just like the plastic which we use for whitening the teeth. It is the plastic which the patient wears it all day, 24 hours a day, and then it moves the teeth very, very quickly or you may say as it is in the computers sometimes you may may need 25 sometimes may need 12 sets of plastic sets which the patient is if a brace has moved certain distance you have to take another impression or, or the, the, the computer itself knows that the second stage is there and they will send another set of uh, plastic retainers which we give it to the patient. So each one will move accordingly. It is very, very clear and very aesthetically pleasing. It is used mostly uh, for the adults and nowadays the children is our uh, children are asking for the same thing. Too. So basically with the Invisalign, um, the, uh, a person gets like 12, 20 or so um, different sets of plastic to put on and uh, he gets them sent as he needs them every two to five weeks or whatever. He gets a new set set. So he actually doesn't have to come to the dentist, uh, to the orthodontist as often as with the old time braces. Is that uh, what you're saying? Yeah, he, he may be coming once a month. And once a month visit is not as long as the old time. The old time once a month visit may be an hour long. Here it may be about 10 minutes long. 
I see. For 15 minutes, it's just like, just like because everything is ready, you just give it to the patient and uh, he wears it or he had that orthodontist adjusts it in the patient's mouth. If it fits well, out he goes. Initially, he will feel a bit tight and then after about a week or so, once the tooth has moved slightly, he'll feel a bit loose and he maintains it there for about two to three weeks and comes in for the next test. Wonderful. And um, the Invisalign braces, uh, people take them off when they're eating um, so that they can then brush very, very, uh, you know, normally after eating. It, it, that seems to be like an, a big advantage versus the old time braces where the metal is stuck there and brushing is very difficult again, right? Yeah, not only the brushes itself, the brushing is difficult, uh, the plaque accumulation is more, the, the gingiva is inflamed more in those type of patients, whereas here all these things are not seen. The decay can set in because he is unable to clean well, so we have to maintain that, uh, that regular three-monthly or six-monthly checkup. So all those extra care by the patient has to take place, and sometimes... In the, in the newer generation, they take too much soda and all that around the braces itself. The carbonic acid sits in, and once the braces are removed, there are white patches and the decay around the, around the braces itself. So we have to be very, very careful. So basically, with the Invisalign, that problem is not there because it takes them out while eating, brushes the teeth, flosses the teeth, puts them back in, right? Yes, right, 100%. Wonderful. Now, so, and if a person is very, very conscious, um, you know, let's just say a first date or maybe a job interview or something, uh, with the Invisalign, could the person take it out for that one first evening or for that one job interview uh, and, and by doing so for sure, so to say, has, you know, no wires and nothing in it? Yeah, they can. There, there are no wires in the Invisalign anyway, but right. they can easily remove it. They can remove it in the date. When they are going out for a date, they can remove it, keep it, and then come back and wear it again. They can remove it uh, when they are going for a job interview or things like that. They can remove it during eating. They put it back again. So it is a removable type of process. So the only, the, the only drawback, I guess, would be, especially with, let's say, teenagers or so, that they, they don't put it back in, and by doing so, will prolong the treatment, treatment because there's nothing there to uh, adjust the teeth. Yes, that's the only drawback. The drawback is the patient themselves, when they are misusing the whole system of removing it. It should be there at least 23, 24 hours in the mouth. You're, you're, you're removing it for only for few minutes or here and there and not for a long period of time and for long days at a time. Got it. Then it won't be working. Right. But here and there, a job interview, here and there, that date, that's all right. That's all right, yeah. Good. Well, thanks a lot, Dr. Patel. I'm sure that will help some people again to um, realize that they actually can have braces, can straighten out their teeth and... Um, uh, uh, really look cool, not any more those big ugly thing on it, especially for adults. Well, I guess also for teenagers. Nobody, you know, it's it's very self-conscious thing to have those big metal wires in it, and uh, that time is gone. Right, Helmut. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thanks a lot. Yes.